guys because it's like 21 hour ups and down please like subscribe if you are new to our channel and please comment below uh it was uh, a good help and big help to us if you will like share and comment below and also subscribe na rin po for our new out there anyway guys uh last monday we've been to audiology apartment of lucas and then we have a little walk uh in the hard gate and then uh, tuesday morning in my last vlog it's about what happened to us last monday and then tuesday finally our portage um uh what is this assessment is been came true because we cannot do it online and we cannot do it telephone call because i have a very bad internet and telephone connection that's why we decided to make it a home visit for the first time and finally yeah it uh, it was yes success and then next tuesday again we have another 10 a.m assessment for portage of lucas and then we will step to the second plan ayun na and then ayan yung hair ko ayusin ko muna and then guys yesterday uh, that was wednesday yeah wednesday we've been to leeds general infirmary hospital about lucas cardio appointment uh, you know guys uh 7 a.m. the morning, I was already awake and then I prepared the kids. I prepared Naomi because she go to school. And after I dropped Naomi to her school, 9.50 in the morning. But we are earlier than that, uh, 8.45. 8.45, uh, dapat uh, makaalis na ako ng uh, Ripon. So, early in the morning, I already dropped Naomi in her school. She's supposed to be 8.50 in the morning, nasa school na. So, after I dropped Naomi in the school, I went straight to the bus stop para antayin yung bus stop. We have to catch it at 9.01 a.m. in the morning. But luckily, I was stood there for about 8.59 a.m. in the morning kasi nga 9.01 yung timetables. And ito na, 9.21 na, wala pa rin yung bus. So, we waited there. So, I already panicking and stressed and feel a bit frustrated kasi nga, uh, kalkulado ko na yung oras that at least 2 hours yung allowance ko to go to Leeds Hospital because from Ripon to Harrogate is already 15 minutes and Harrogate to Leeds is 1 hour hindi pa kasama doon yung mga stop stop so supposed to be dapat 1 and a half hour traveling time lang yun diba and then um, 9.01 wala pa yung bus so I thought it was only late so 9.05 na wala pa rin and then 9.15 I said it's already it's been already a uh, uh, devastated day, you know, I will be definitely 100% late because the bus is late. The bus here in Lip Ripon are only 20 minutes interval. So, if you miss the other bus, you have to wait another 20 minutes, unlike to other place like in Leeds. Like in Leeds, every 5 minutes or every 10 minutes. Here, it's always every uh, 20 minutes. And you have no choice. If you don't have a car like me, I have no choice. I only relay on bus. And if I go to taxi from Ripon to leads it will cost too much a lot of money and then uh there is only one bus here it's only number 36 to go to harrogate and leads and like in leads i have many choices like bus 51 bus 5 bus 4 i can jump to other bus just to get in the hospital as long as i have a day tripper ticket bus but here only bus 36 and then if you have no car like me, I have no I don't have my own car and I don't know how to drive. So I only relay on bus and I don't know um and I don't know how to drive as well and I don't I don't want to spend a lot of money a taxi from Ripon to to Leeds or Ripon to Harrogate. Uh, alam nyo yon. And then at the same time I have no car seat. Yun din reason that's why I don't call a taxi. And then that's it guys. Dumating yung bus about pass 9.30 na. But before that, before the bus came, I already rang the hospital. I said to them that, I am sorry, I don't want to be late, but I have no choice. I will be late and please uh, don't cancel my appointment. I want to be there. I will just be late because I will come from Ripon. And Ripon to Harrogate is 30 minutes and Harrogate to Leeds is one, uh, one hour. So, one hour and 30 minutes. I don't want to miss my 
appointment, I will be just late. So, they consider me naman. So, I was late about 20 to 30 minutes. So, dapat kasi, if you have an appointment 11 a.m. in the morning, you're supposed to be there at 11.50 in the morning. Or, if you will be late, it will be 10, 10 past 11. Eh, ako, late na ako ng more than that. Na-exceed ko na. Buti na lang ka mo. They are consi they consider me. They are considerable. And they accept my my apologies and they, my, and they accept my reason na I will be coming from Ripon and I was just relying on bus and the bus is cancelled and then it shows that I will be late. 9am po pa sila tinawagan na guys. So, ayun. So, when I went to the hospital, it was very strict. They do you a screening, ang daming tanong, and then wash your hands, and then um, face mask, and luckily, Lucas cardio appointment went okay they said his heart is doing okay and everything is stable and see him on two years time so ayun guys good good news naman and after i came from hospital that is already past past one so uh luckily when i get to the bus station in this in lead central i got the bus so Pag upo ko ng bus, about 4 minutes only, umalis na yung bus. And then, uh, 1 yun ah, 1.40, uh, 1, 1, f yes, 1.30 in the, af one, ay, 2.40, sorry, 2.40 in the afternoon. Nasa school na ako ni Naomi kasi, mm, uh, 3 minutes walk lang yun from her school, so. Right after that, kinulik ko na sila na yung Mrs. School. So, ayun yung nangyari sa akin yesterday, guys. Talagang, I was out since 8 a.m. in the morning until 3.15 in the afternoon. I was really nagin. Tapos may travel-travel pa. So, ngayon, guys, ito, ito, as you can see, I just opened the new letter for for Lucas O'Dowd again. Oh, my goodness. Ayan. Pedi uh, referred by pediatric uh, pediatric doctor Cannings reasons for appointment Down syndrome routine hearing reviews present Lucas mom older sister and then Anthony O Connell clinical scientist cat was local department head outcome mild hearing loss oh kasi may mild hearing loss si Lucas this is the report about Lucas hearing test last Monday um audiology review in two months. Yes, as they said, guys, uh, uh, Lucas need a uh, review in two months. So, background. Thank you for bringing Lucas for a routine hearing test. You told us that you have recently moved to Ripon from Leeds, where he was heavy regular audiology reviews. At his last appointment before COVID lockdown, you were told that there was a mild to moderate hearing loss, probably due to middle ear congestion or wax in his narrow ear canals. You told us that you're not sure about his earring at the moment, but you have found that you need to repeat yourself before he responds to you. Ayun. Uh, yes. <clears throat> when we look into the ear, unremarkable, right? And then left, unremarkable. Otoscopy. That is the otoscopy. Uh, typonometry. A test for glue ear. Evidence of middle ear fluid. No evidence of middle So, yung... Right ear ni Lucas ang may problema ng konti. No evidence of middle ear fluid. So, sa right ear ni Lucas, evidence of middle ear fluid. Hearing test, visual reinforcement, audiometry sounds filled. Mild hearing loss, which may due to the glue ear on the right, but may also be because he quickly got bored of our hearing test. This is because at a certain developmental age, children get bored of seeing the visual rewards for turning to sounds. So, if they do not turn to very quiet sounds, it's unclear if they didn't hear them or didn't find themselves interesting enough. So, summary. At his age, Lucas was quiet, quickly bored by VRA test that we use today. But nevertheless, we're trying in two months. We will send you an appointment for that nearer time. After that next test up, we will, we will need him to be able to wait for a round for a sound and react to it and consistent way this requires the child to be developmental developmentally at about two and a half years old so it might take longer with a child with down syndrome sincerely yours dictated but nine sign 
Tony O'Connell, PhD, clinical scientist, audiology, pediatric lead for audiology. Ayun yung ano ni Lucas, guys. Thanks for reminding to si Lucas, ma'am, has canceled an appointment with us at the start of COVID lockdown because she just had surgery. She told us that train start his appointment with us. I ensure he's remain on list for routine follow-ups. Ayun. Ayun, oo oh, oh, guys, I, I canceled Lucas' appointment when the COVID-19 came first because uh, it was really, alam niyo yun, nakakatakot talaga. It was really uh, chaotic. At saka maraming COVID patients yung sa mga hospital and talagang I think um, audiology, audio appointment, hearing appointment is not really important than his health. <laughs> Kasi di ba, okay lang na maging bingi ka basta huwag ka lang magka-COVID, di ba? Hindi naman siya. <laughs> Nakakarinig naman siya. So, the problem with hearing of, with hearing of Lucas is sa right talaga. Even in the leads, they, the, they found out that na, mayroong problem sa right ear ni Lucas. They put the hearing aid test here, the machine, yung, yung equipment dito, when they put it, he easily heard it, but, uh, ayun nga, mild to moderate, but now they said it's only mild, so, we will see him again, Dr. O'Connell, on two months time, so, ayun guys, yun yung pal, yun yung update ko about Lucas hearing appointment, and, uh, about the heart appointment that, uh, his heart is happy and doing well so we will see the cardio again in two years time and that's it guys so tomorrow today wala kaming appointment today but i rescheduled some of appointment of lucas in the future because there is a conflict about the school and the time of appointment in lucas like my flu job it was three p.m. in the afternoon. So, I need to collect Naomi at 3.15. So, hindi kaya kasi I need to travel about 30 minutes in Harrogate. I also trying to reschedule my neurology appointment because I have a bad uh, migraine. So, it was 3.05 in the afternoon on 24th of November. I'm trying to make it earlier but I will wait because they said it's only a telephone call but it on my later it's not a telephone call it says I need to go to Harrogate hospital go to the outpatient and uh, show the letter so I still wait for the letter to come back again so ayun guys ayun guys I am not busy I am really really busy so thank you guys for watching and see you again bye bye